Hi, this is Megan Dorsey with CollegePrepLLC.com. Moving on to another review of the CollegeBoard.org website. What a powerful resource for students and parents, but you can't use it if you don't know what's there. So in this video, I'm going to speak for just a few minutes about the College Search feature. You can see right here on the left-hand side, College Search. If you have a particular school, you know the name, type it in. It'll pull up that school's profile. What I want to focus on instead is the whole search feature. Up to the navigation bar at the top you can see where it says college search. There we go. Brings up this main page. If you've logged in using your college board username and password you could access a list of saved colleges from the My College list over here on the left same thing with my saved searches but if you're just starting at this for the first time the thing that I love playing with and I find students get a lot of resource out of is this college matchmaker right here in the center use your criteria to narrow it down I hit start here and it brings up this page first thing I notice we are starting our search with almost 4,000 possible colleges and universities and up across the top you can see the factors that you can enter and personalize to narrow down your list. Type of school, location, majors, cost and financial aid, admissions, sports and activities, housing and programs, specialized options. Go through this and play with it. Take the things that are most important to you first. I'll just do a quick demonstration. Let's say we want to know, look at four-year schools. I want to look at private schools that are small and medium. Don't want anything too big. I'm not really particular about the setting. I've made my preferences, and I hit Submit and Continue. All of a sudden, you can see we've gone from about 4,000 colleges to 1,500. Okay, that helps, but I can narrow down location. I live in Texas. Maybe I want to select this entire region. When I click on the region, you can see down here it has selected all of the states in what they consider to be the southwest region. If I said, well, not really New Mexico, I just want to stick with Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and maybe I want to add in Louisiana, I can click there. Now I'm only going to be searching for schools in that area. If not, you could find a certain distance from home. Maybe I don't want to go more than 200 miles from my home. Click Submit and Continue. Oh, now I'm down to 99 schools. If at this point I wanted to review them, I'd click See the Results. Let's do that. And they're going to give them to me in alphabetical order. You can see, got a lot of great options. Can go all the way through here. Multiple pages of results. You can see, I can go to page three of my results. Bunch of schools. You're going to find some you've heard of, some you've never heard of. And you can go through. Now, let's say I'm here in the middle, and I'm going to take a look for just a minute at Oklahoma Baptist University. Select on the school name, and here comes their profile. Notice, multiple pages. The at a glance gives me an idea. Its location talks about the degrees offered shows me the size of the school, the setting, a little bit about the student body, can learn about the enrollment, something that's a person who's interested in SATs that I'm always looking at, let's take a look at their scores. This shows the middle 50 percent of students for reading, math, you'll find many universities don't always release or use writing, and it also gives their ACT composite. I can find out about specific majors, cost, admissions, so here I can look at 67% were admitted, 74% returned their sophomore year. This isn't giving you a total picture of the school, but it is giving you a starting place on your search. We could always go back to the search, previous schools, or I could save my search and come again. I love this search feature and college information on collegeboard.com. I think it's a great resource. For more information, you can check my blog at collegeprepllc.com.